locked in so you come in. Hey internet, it's Fasting again, and holy crap I have features! Anyway, this is a follow-up tutorial for the people that don't have Cam Studio or Camtasia or any other desktop recording program like that. Instead, I'm going to teach you how to align images in an external image editor so they can be imported into a video editing program. With that said, let's begin! In the previous tutorial, I made a 5 frame animation of me throwing Chen with Cam Studio. But if your recorder doesn't work, your next method is to export images to an external image editor like Photoshop or GIMP. To copy what's currently on the screen, hit the print screen button. It should be in the top right corner of your keyboard next to your scroll lock and pause buttons. Hitting print screen copies everything on the desktop but the mouse so they can be pasted elsewhere. Once you've done that, go to your image editor and paste it. From here, center the image to your liking. You may size the image up or down, but if you're going to go in sequence, keep in mind the dimensions you set to it, otherwise the images won't match between frames. This is vital for complex animations. Once you've gotten the first image ready, go back to create.swift, go to the second frame, hit print screen, then go back to your image editor. Paste the image, and then size it in the same way you did the other image. Then lower the layer opacity so you can look for an anchor point. An anchor point is an area where you can layer the different images so that they appear in the same position when you switch between them. With backgrounds, corners or angled objects serve as great anchor points, but for this plain white background, all I have is my foot. When you think you're done, bring the opacity back to 100% and then toggle the layer on and off to see if it matches. If there appears to be no jitter between the frames, you're clear to move on to the next frame. If there is a jitter, it means they're not aligned properly, so go back and move it a little until the jitter is gone. Once you're done aligning each frame, check them once more for the jitter by switching the layers on and off. If there's no jitter, you're ready to save each layer as a PNG. As I said before, PNGs contain less noise than JPEGs, as well as alpha support for transparency, making them ideal for not only clean frames, but for objects. If you'd like to bring an image into your editor in the same way you'd bring an image into Create.Swift, print screen the object, paste it into the editor, then cut out the background. If you're using Photoshop, use the Magnetic Lasso tool for precise cuts. If you're using GIMP, use the Magic Wand tool for a high threshold, then use the eraser to cut away any external noise. If the background is a gray checkerboard, it means it's completely transparent and ready to save, but if it's still white, it means there's still a background and your image will not be transparent. If cutting still doesn't work, check if the transparency is turned on. In GIMP, go to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha to enable transparency. If you'd like to animate characters talking, it's the same method as before. Print screen the image, paste it into your editor, resize it if needed, prepare the next frame, print screen it, paste the next layer, lower the opacity, Look for an anchor point, check for the jitter, then either save the images or move on to the next frame. If you're only working with speech bubbles, just look for the anchor point, then check for the jitter. If your video editor supports panning, import PNGs and pan across them for smooth movement. In Sony Vegas, set your aspect ratio, zoom out, then pan across them to make the illusion of movement. This is how they did that in Star Wars. To limp sync audio, copy the open mouth frames over the audio peaks, then copy the closed mouth frames over silence. This method not only provides precise lip syncing compared to live recording, but sharper video since there's no need for compression. The only drawback is that it requires a little more effort. For this upcoming example, it took roughly 30 minutes to create these 15 frames of animation. Well then, let's throw Chen somewhere full of objects so we can see what PNGs are really capable of. You wanna know something? I think this might be the first day nothing bad's happened to me. Something tells me that this isn't going to- So the moral here is, the anchor points are key if you want to do frame-by-frame -frame animation using external images. Remember, if you see a jitter like this, or like this, or like this, it means you need to go back, move the layer a little, then check it again to see if it works. With that said, happy waffacing!